So what does it feel like to ride a bike again after more or less a month and a half, potentially two months off, sustaining multiple broken veins, including broken leg? What does it actually feel like? It feels like pretty normal to be fair. Like, so you've seen I've just, like the last couple of weeks, I've just been going out like on my actual bike, like outside on my mountain bike and on my old road bike. Um, my TCR is just getting built up at the moment, but you're going to be in for a surprise when you see what it looks like because it's, it's class. Um, but yeah, so I sort of had a month and a half off, um, really. So my first pedal was when I went to the gym on the 1st of August and I crashed my bike on the 27th of June. So, you know, it's a month and a half off. But obviously, you know, the first time I went to the gym, I did 10 minutes, probably like 70 watts. Like, you know, it's it's, it's on the bike, but not really. Um, but I'd say, you know, at the moment, I'm really starting to ride a bit more. I did an hour yesterday, which is as long as I can, I've done so far. And um, mainly, you know, how long I can do is not necessarily to find my legs, it's more about my back because I've, I've broken the top three vertebrae. And so obviously cycling, you're bent over, you've got your neck up and that is quite painful, but you know, we're getting through that and hopefully it should be should be good. I'm seeing the back surgeon tomorrow, so I'll be able to talk more about that, figure out what the deal is with that and sort of, you know, see how it is. But yeah, so it, it feels pretty normal, like, you know, cruising around like zone two. So like, I only have heart rate at the moment because obviously my TCR has power, but not my other bikes do. So like 150 heart rate is normally around zone two, but obviously it's a bit higher. So that's zone two-ish. feels pretty normal. Like it just feels like, okay, my legs are a little bit sore on my left, but like zone two, I can't really tell the difference. Okay, maybe if I attack a little bit up a climb or something, you know, I feel a bit more out of breath than usual, but it doesn't feel off the chart. I think because I'm just riding zone two, maybe if, you know, I got my power meter back to full gas for five minutes, I'd die or something, I don't know. But yeah, it doesn't feel that odd. Like it just feels, I guess I've taken a long time. I've done a lot of gym stuff. Um, like a lot of gym stuff. I just put it all in training peaks, um, which I'll show you in a minute. And yeah, so I've done a lot of gym stuff, but I feel pretty, pretty normal now, which is, which is good. And, um, hopefully I'll be able to get some good training done in the next couple of weeks. I want to start training. Well, I'll talk more about this when I have my training peaks up, but you know, start of October is really when I want to start training. And then I'll show you how I plan on getting a bit of form back. All right. So here it is the performance management chart for training peaks. So we'll go through last year roughly. So hill climbs, decent form, best result at nationals, 74. Fitness, bit of off season, bit of track, got some fitness, went on holiday around Christmas, built, had mega January, like 80 something hours, was mad. Um, then promptly crashed because I didn't sleep enough um, and went out a bit too much. And then anyway, then built again for sort of end of March, got some more results there. Um, including fourth in Bristol South, which is Dees. Uh, then had Bucks Road Days, a couple of other things I was building for around here. Best numbers of the year were on this day here, Thursday 16th of May. Uh, that was Fitness 81, so you can see roughly where I was. Then anyway, last year, obviously after hill climb season, I started at 54. This is my abrupt drop after crashing on the Tuesday, whatever it was, well, we crashed on Wednesday the 26th of June. Um, so obviously had all of July off. And then on the 1st of August, I cycled again. So August is the eighth month. Uh, so you'll be able to see about around near here, we start to have a little bump as I start doing some training again. So 1st of August, so I've had almost two months now of going to the gym and stuff, and I've improved a lot. My leg press has gone massively up on my left leg, which is really good. It's gone from like eight kilos to like 34 or something. No, no, it's like, yeah, 34. So it's a big increase. My right leg's gone from like 20 to 66 or something. No, 61. So my legs are getting a lot stronger, and we can see down here it's starting to increase. And this is you know where I'm predicted to be fitness-wise. So obviously I have huge freshness. Heart rate's crazy, but you can see some of my efforts up here, um, which is sort of where we wanna wanna have. So decent decent training stress. 53 I had um, yesterday, which is about an hour. Um, obviously my heart rate's a bit higher, so heart rate TSS is slightly irrelevant. But what I think is interesting is if we look where my so my peak well my trough, sorry, after hill climb season was the 54 fitness. So that would be, you know, if we could get to that by the 12th of November, that'd be pretty good. I don't think we will. Um, but again, if you look January, I was at 53. So if I could get to like, you know, 58 by December, that's possible. Um, and then, you know, hopefully we'll be able to build. January won't be as big. I've got exams, unfortunately. I do have to do some work and um, obviously when I'm doing normal uni, I can train 15, 20 hour weeks, but when I'm revising, that's not possible. Um, but I can do some good intensity and stuff, but I'm not going away, so I won't have to slide here. Um, so anyway, we'll, so at the moment, um, 
as of Sunday, the 22nd of September, my fitness is 21, okay? So, you know, double it, three months, calm in it, let's be honest. Um, and, you know, it's hard for me to know how much I can train. So this has been a typical sort of week. You can see I'm doing, you know, half an hour cycles here. So I end up banging up two hours on the bike. It's going to do an hour today, which is not feeling it. Three hours in the gym. Pretty solid, to be fair. I think I did a gym session as well, but for some reason I didn't put it in. Again, here you can see I'm doing six six hours on the, in the gym. Start off with an hour and a half, three hours. I don't have all my stuff in because sometimes it was swimming or walking. I can be about to put it in all in training piece. Um, so, yeah, next week I'm going to go for 10 hours. It might be too much, might be too little, or probably too much, but, you know, we'll see. Um, so four gym sessions. When I have days off, I want complete days off because I really need my knees to rest. And that's one thing I've noticed is that an active recovery is an active recovery. It's active recovery in the legs, but not my my um my joints. So I really need to rest on those days. And you'll see, I basically plan to just ride zone two. Boring training, indeed, but it's just, you know, it's not my legs that need work, it's my back. As soon as I get my back ready, you can start doing three-hour rides, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, and yeah, that's the plan. So obviously that week alone, we're going up to 25, and hopefully I'm going to plan all this in. So by the time we get, I mean, if you look through the months, I've got... So originally I thought I wouldn't be able to ride outside until like 26th of December or something. So look through the months, we've got, we've got years. This is when I thought I couldn't be able to ride outside, so it's a good time. And my time to hit 350 watts, I've um, set myself a little goal, um, which is in 25 weeks, so about six months' time, I want to be at the same level I was before, which would be the 18th of March, and then that would be, you know, Bucks Road races coming up, which is obviously I want to do well in, um, and then some other races coming up, I want to try and get first cut next year. It's going to be pretty impossible, but, you know, we'll, we'll give it a shot, see how we can go. 240 points a year is going to be really hard. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do it, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how we are. Might just get a second count and be happy, but you know, that's the goal. Hill climbs next year, <sighs> nationals is lame, so don't know, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, just watching. Um, and you know, if you've got any advice on recovering, please let me know because I have no idea what's going to be possible. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you know, six months' time, I should be in top top condition and uh, ready to ruin some people's legs. So, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.